welcome guys to Emrich Tech Solutions Code I'm glad to have you back and I'm sure for those that have been following me on the previous series I'm sure you're really learning a lot and um, I'm happy to hear you know your feedback and um, and like I promised we are going to be making it a series I've done quite a number of um, videos you know covering the properties of the container flex container and uh, this second series will be co will be covering the properties of the flex items themselves so please note that for you to follow up on this tutorial you must have watched the previous one because this actually depends on that so and and for as a recap the flex container properties which i covered in the previous video so we covered things like the flex display we covered things like flex direction and um, flex wrap flex flow justify content you know align items and then um, and um, align the uh, content so with those you should have practiced enough and if you follow up with that with those videos i'm sure you are conversant with um, using the flex container properties but in this video we are going to be looking at the second set of what you need to know to fully grab the flex um, uh, the flex concept in cxs and after this series guys the last um, series of videos would be on application on what we can how we can apply flex um, flex concepts in CSS to lay out um, our website and like I explained CSM um, flex has really made you know things easier for web developers you know in laying out you know items on their website so and i'm glad to teach you this and um and make you understand flex so now without further ado we you can see on the screen you have the flex items property which here we're looking at order the flex order we are looking at um, flex grow we are looking at uh, flex shrink flex basis flex and align items so i'm going to explain this one after the order so for the first one flex guys for the first one sorry order now the other property this property controls the order in which the items appear in the flex container so in the previous videos i demonstrated where we have the flex container with the flex items inside it's just like a basket with uh, items inside the basket that's just the concept of flex guys so if you understand it with that then i think you really follow along now the second concept here in the flex items property is the flex grow so this flex grow defines the ability for a flex item to grow if necessary do you understand so making it flexible so if it doesn't need to grow it won't grow but if it needs to grow it will now the next one which is the flex shrink defines the ability for a flex item to reduce if necessary so i'm sure that's self-explained now flex basis now this specifies the initial main size of a flex item so imagine you have a basket with uh, items inside or different oranges inside for instance so with flex basis i can specify the sizes of the items inside the basket okay so what's the, init uh, the initial size i want those items to take so if i set it then it will take the size but without me setting flex basis so they just take up 
the 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 size they can you know based on the content that they that they weigh or take now for the next one which is flex so this is the this is a short and for flex go and for uh, flex uh, for flex grow flex shrink and flex basis so this flex is like a short and to set these three things so if i i don't need to set this individually or once i use this flex without any um suffix it's gonna i'm gonna be able to set how my flex will grow yes yeah, so this is going to take like three parameters okay it's going to take the first one flex grow take the next one flex shrink and take the next one flex basis so it's a short and for flex grow shrink and basis now the last one is the align self so this align self allows the uh, individual flex items to align individually okay so i can align each of the items the way i want them to be so it's really 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 handy and you are going to see how this works in the next uh, video so guys thank you for watching this the next one i'm going to be taking them one after the other how the flex how the other property works and the rest of them okay so guys i hope to see you in the next video please once again guys don't forget to share um like my page subscribe so that you get notification when i upload new videos okay and this will also motivate me to keep creating videos you know for you so i'll see you in the next video bye for now